find the equation of the tangent y squared minus x squared is equal to 12 at the point 2 comma 4. Now this is uh, a curve. So let's assume that we don't know this and we are going to use differentiation to find the answer and then we'll check it uh, by using a program called Graphmatica. So let me write the function. Uh, the function is y squared minus, or this is uh, not a function, this is an implicit relationship. Okay, so yeah, this is an equation, this is a curve, y squared minus x squared is equal to 12. Okay, so what happens now? We want to find the equation of the tangent, so we need to find the derivative. So I'm going to use the derivative operator, so well, that's d by dx of y minus d by dx of x squared is equal to d by dx of 12. So yeah, you're asking the question, we want to find what's the change in y squared, sorry, what's what's the change in y squared for the change in x. Now this is an implicit uh, differentiation, you can't differentiate y, uh, y squared with respect to x. Okay, so yeah, I don't know, we can't differentiate at this step, so, so let me leave that space here. So this is d by dx of x squared is the derivative of x squared with respect to x is 2x, okay, using uh, the polynomial. So the, the derivative of 12 with respect to x is 0. There is no change in 12 for the change in x. Now to explain this, so let me do a star here. Let me explain this separately, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to say let, let g is equal to y squared. Let g is equal to y squared. So I'm going to differentiate with respect to y. So d by dy of g is equal to d by dy of y squared. d by dy of y squared. So d by dy of g is nothing but dg by dy is equal to the derivative of y squared with respect to y or d by dy of y is 2y. So dg by dy is 2y. Okay. Now this, so this thing, so I can now say now d by dx of y squared is same as d by dx, d by dx of g, okay, because y squared I have let as g. So this is nothing but dg by dy, this is dg by dx, sorry, this is d, d by dx of g is nothing but dg by dx. Okay, let me scroll up a little, okay. Now we're going to do a trick here. So I can say d g by d d g by d y. I'm going to talk about this. D g by d y is same as d g by d x. D g by d y is uh, d g by d. We want to get dg by dx, sorry, we want to get dg by, I'm getting a bit confused here, okay, so what, what do we want? We want dg by dx, so well, can I say dg by dx is same as dg by dy, dg by dy times dy by dx. Now one thing you should always keep in mind, dg, dy, dy and dx are nothing but differential. They are small, infinitesimally small number. So dg by dx is same as dg by dy times dy by dx. So this dy and dy gets cancelled. So what is remaining is dg by dx. Okay, so this, now what is dg by dy? dg by dy is 2y dg by 2, dy is 2y, can you see here, is 2y and times dy by dx, 
times dy by dx. So now I'm going to dg by, this is dg by dx. So I hope I have explained. So this is nothing but 2y times dy by dx. Now this, we always don't do this, all these steps. Basically how we do is we do, you differentiate as if you're differentiating with respect to x. So we'll say, this is nothing but chain rule. So we say dg by dx of y squared is 2y, and then you differentiate y with respect to x, which is times dy by dx. So now making or adding 2x to both sides, I can say 2y times dy by dx is equal to 2x. Now dividing both sides by 2y, dy by dx is 2x divided by 2y. So you can cancel the uh, 2, so we can say the derivative dy by dx at any point on the curve is nothing but x over y. So the derivative at any point of this uh, relationship function would be x over y. Now we want to find the equation of the tangent at this point. Okay, so well, if this is dy by dx, you can say dy by dx at 2 comma 4, that means when x is 2 and y is 4, would be 2 divided by 4, which is 1 half, which is 0 0.5. So using gradient intercept formula, we know y is equal to mx plus c. We know m is 0 0.5, the gradient at that point is 0 0.5. So we can say that y is equal to 0.5x plus c. Now we know when x is 2, y is equal to 4. So we're going to substitute this back in this equation. So in place of y, I can put 4. And in place of x, I can put 2. So I can say 4 is equal to 0.5 times 2 plus c. So this is 4 is equal to 0.5 times 2 is 1 plus c. So which implies c is equal to 3. So the equation of the tangent is y is equal to 0.5x plus 3. So let's confirm this answer using a program which you can download freely from the internet called Graphmatica. So this is the answer. So this is called a graph mat, uh, the, uh, the program is called Graphmatica. I'll just type in the equation. So y, y squared like this, sorry, y squared minus x squared is equal to 12. Now this is a hyperbola. This is, this is the graph of, this is the graph of y is equal to, sorry, y squared minus x squared is equal to 12. Now this point, is, can you see this point is 2 comma 4. We're interested at the, we're interested in the equation of the tangent at this point. So I'll go uh, integrate a uh, calculus, uh, find, draw tangent. Okay, I have to select a point, so let me select this point. So this is 1.98, so let me bring this down. This point is 1.984, so I'll make this exactly 2. This is 2 comma. So the question is, draw tangent line, draw the tangent that x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 4. And can you see, this is the equation of, or this is the tangent at 2 comma 4. And the equation of the tangent is 0.5x plus 3.